Hi, I'm Kieran, and I'm in the seventh grade in South Florida. My mom asked me how school went the other day, so I decided to tell her about English class. It was sort of okay, I guess. We're reading To Kill a Mockingbird, a novel by Harper Lee, and it's pretty good. But yesterday, my teacher was acting kind of weird. My mom asked me what I meant. I told her that my teacher was standing in front of the room with her left hip kind of jutting out to the left, and she was kind of bent over too. Her right hand was on her right hip, like so. She looked a bit nervous, and she was just moving her fingers ba -ba -da, ba -ba -da, on her hip, like so. And then she looked down at her hand and gulped. All of the students looked very stiff, rigid in their seats. They, too, were staring at her hand and her hip, hoping that if they stayed perfectly still, so would the revolver holstered there. My mom got really quiet and then asked me about what happened next. I told her that we started out the class with a character lesson. You see, at my school, we have 10 character words to live by, and they are painted on the wall above where my teacher stands, words like compassion and gratitude and grit. You get the idea. The lesson today was about responsibility, morality, and acceptance. After I told my mom this, I asked her if it was responsible or moral to make my teacher carry that gun, and I wondered how I could ever accept it. My mom was still quiet, but now she looked sad, too. She asked me what happened next. Oh, I said, we had a great discussion about To Kill a Mockingbird. My mom brightened. Tell me about that, Kieran, she asked. I told her how today my teacher rested against the desk because the revolver at her hip was getting heavy and started to teach us about one of the main themes in the book from one of the main characters, Atticus Finch. We learned that he is an excellent marksman and knows more about guns than most people, and yet he doesn't want to shoot anything or let anyone know about this skill. He says, shooting sweet living beings like mockingbirds who do no wrong and give us the gift of beauty and innocence and sweet song is a sin. My mom looked closely and carefully and slowly right into my eyes and mouthed the word mockingbirds in a whisper. Then she said, what else? I told her, that we also talked about near the end of the novel, when Tom Robinson, a black man, is convicted and incarcerated for a crime of rape he did not commit, and how, driven to desperation, he tries with one maimed arm to climb the wall of the prison yard and is shot 17 times by the guards. 17, my mom asked. Yes, I said, and I knew we were thinking the same thing. 17, like Parkland, Florida, 17. My mom's lips were doing something funny now. She was holding them together really tight. And just for a second, she looked away. Anything else, Kieran, she asked. Well, there is something more. I told my mom that English class has gotten weird since my teacher started carrying a gun. It just doesn't function the way it used to. Everybody does their work, but nobody answers questions in class anymore, and every child has the same steel face. I think my teacher wishes she could have her old cl class back, the one that was happy and brought her joy. Now, as it so happens, as of April 21st, 2018, and as I speak to you now, this conversation with my mother has not actually occurred. But if legislation is enacted that requires teachers to carry guns in their classrooms, conversations like this one between mothers and sons, between all parents and all children, will be taking place 
everywhere. No gun needs to actually be fired in a classroom to kill the spirit of learning. I hope I have shown you a future that will never come to be. Thank you.